Welcome back to another episode of Stacked with Cat. And today's review, I'm super excited about. I'm gonna be tasting the new milk bar cookies that are available at Whole Foods and Amazon. So these come in fun little boxes. I think they would make great gifts as well. I personally love their cakes and I'll have a review coming up about that. So check out my website and the blog post. And I'm also gonna be reviewing the ever famous crack pie. These are also pretty sturdy if you order them on Amazon. I mean, it's a nice cardboard box, so it doesn't feel like the cookies would really get crushed. It comes in a cute milk carton shape, which is pretty unique. Right now they have three flavors. We have compost cookie, the confetti cookies, and cornflake chocolate chip marshmallow. What do I start with first? I'm gonna go with confetti. Their cookies in the store, I find they're on more of the, not super crunchy, but more hard, not super soft texture side. But I figured out if you air fry pretty much any cookie, it will turn amazing. It will make it soft, a little crispy on the outside, warm. So this box comes with four cookies, or four packages, I should say, and each one comes with two packs. And they're a cute mini size. I'm a sucker for packaging, so I love that these aluminum bags they have the baby blue and that matches the milk carton box it says it's butter vanilla sugar sprinkles and party all right Ooh. definitely smells pretty sweet almost like wheat bread too kind of sticky mm. and then you have the confetti Like a slice of wheat bread to me which is not what i expected the texture is really nice i think it's a little softer than the one that you would get in the store the confetti sprinkles are pretty sweet the more bites you take i think the confetti sprinkles take over so it tastes a little sweeter and sweeter but for me the underlying flavor is wheat bread the number one ingredient is in rich flour, which is unbleached wheat flour. I don't know much about baking, but I don't know if that usually has a wheaty taste. <laughs> Texture-wise, I like it a lot better. Flavor-wise, it's okay. It's not bad, but the wheat bread taste throws me off. It's definitely soft enough where it's a nice bite where you don't have to really work, but it didn't fall apart in your hands and it didn't make a mess. Next up, let's try the compost cookie, which has pretzels, potato chips, coffee, chocolate chips, and more. Again, you have four cute packages with two cookies each. This time they're hot pink. First thing I smell are the chocolate chips which I like a lot. Mm. You definitely get everything listed on the box in layers, one after another. I got the chocolate taste, the potato crunch, and then the coffee aftertaste. Mm. I think the flavor and the texture both are working for this one. It doesn't have as strong of a wheat flavor as the confetti cookie. I don't know if it's because the chocolate chip and the coffee overpower that, but I like this one. Last but not least, we have cornflake chocolate chip marshmallow. It says gooey, crunchy, chocolatey. This one also has a wheat wheat bread smell. Honestly, it's very much similar to the compost cookie without the coffee to me. I'm not getting much marshmallow in flavor or texture, which is fine by me. 
It's almost like the compost cookie with just chocolate chip and the cornflakes. It's not like in the compost, you can tell it was a potato chip. I feel like the cornflake and the potato chip almost have the same taste and texture. The wheat bread scent that I smell, I don't taste it, which is nice. I say this was my favorite so far, just because I'm not a big coffee lover. I think if you love coffee and you like the flavor profile in your cookie, definitely the compost cookie will be your friend. But for me personally, I like the play on textures, but I like that the cornflake marshmallow chocolate chip one didn't have the strong coffee flavor. All in all, I actually like these cookies better than the ones they have in the milk bar store. Me personally, I prefer my cookies softer and chewier, and I feel like these definitely meet those criteria. They are a little smaller than the original cookie size, but given that the texture is just more of my preference, I would definitely buy these again. They're almost like an elevated version of the soft and chewy Chips Ahoy. I think they're more interesting in texture. You can definitely try the other cookies if you don't live near a milk bar store, they do ship. I would also recommend trying the crack pie and their cake. I love, love, love their cakes. If you like this review, go ahead and follow along and let me know in the comments below if there are any other snacks you'd like me to review or if you get to try these, let me know what you think. Don't forget, if anyone asks, it's just a snack. <laughs>